Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I am Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. Don't mind my acrylic nails, I literally am going to get them done right now, right after this video, so huh. <laughs> Just cut me a break in the comments, please. For the love of God! <laughs> so today's video is super exciting because I have in my hands the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. This is the Cat's Pajamas palette. And look at that packaging. I wish you guys could see how glittery it really is. The outside packaging is very smooth. It doesn't feel like glitter. It doesn't feel rough or anything like that, which is really nice because I'm personally not a fan of the textured kind of packaging or palettes. I know that like Mariah Carey had textured packaging and stuff like that. So I'm not personally a fan of that. So this is really, really nice and smooth feeling. So when you open up the palette inside is so cute. We have some flowers going on here and some beautiful, beautiful warm tone shades. We have some burgundy shades as well. This is the palette up close and personal for you guys. I think it is super, super pretty just looking at it right off the bat. These are definitely colors that Laura wears a lot and Honestly, these are colors that I wear a lot too, so this palette definitely does speak to me. Now, I know a lot of you guys were tweeting me, because um, you know Laura and I are pretty good friends. I know a lot of you guys were a little bit concerned that I would give a false review, but I think I have proven myself enough on this channel and have been kicked off enough PR lists to let you guys know that I will 100% be honest. I know a lot of you guys want to see swatches and see stuff like that. I'll do a couple on the back of my hand, but at the end of the day, a swatch really doesn't tell you much about a product or a palette or anything, which is why I don't really do swatches on my channel because honestly, the best bet is going to be how it performs on the eye. So I am going to dip right into Scatterbrain, which is this beautiful gold shade, and I will give you guys a swatch. Oh shit, okay, she did not come to play. Then we have the shade in one ear. Oh wow, that is super pigmented. This color right here is called Cray Cray. Oh, that is speaking to me. It's like yelling at me to put it in my crease. Wow, guys, that is really pretty. <gasps> Oh my god, and if you blend it out even more, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do things a little ass backwards here. I am gonna take the shade Okie Dokie right here, and I, ooh, okay. And I'm gonna pat it all over my... I was not ready for that, Laura. So I am gonna just pat this all over my eye. Now, I normally don't ever do this, but... There is a method to my madness, so just hold tight. And I'm going in on this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name. It, I think it might be part of the Rose Gold Collection. I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout. So it gives you 10% off, and it also helps me out a little bit too with my channel. So thank you in advance for using my code. I'm just going to go out like this. <laughs> All right, next going in, I'm going to take the shade Bomb Diggity right here. And I'm taking this fluffy, iconic London brush. Doesn't have a name on it. This is off to a great start with the names. And I'm just going to go back and forth windshield wiper motions, working that up in the crease. Wow, she is pigmented. So guys, this is blending out really nice. I do want to say you definitely don't need a lot on your brush because these shadows are so pigmented. And then doing the same thing to the other eye. Kind of packing it in the crease and going back and forth in windshield wiper motions using a very, very light hand. Always remember guys, you can always add color but you can't take away color. So it's always really good to start off with a light hand and light shades and light amount of product on your brush. And then I'm just going in with this bigger fluffy brush with no additional product on it and kind of feathering out the edges even more. You can even use your fingers. Don't forget your hands. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the color Cray Cray right here. I'm actually gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M433 brush and kind of saturate both sides, tap off the excess. 
And I always kind of start in the center here. That way you can blend the color out easier. And just kind of going back and forth. And then you can always go in like I've been doing with a bigger fluffier brush and kind of feather out any of the edges. Doing the same thing to the other eye. You also can kind of work in circular motions if you want. I do that more towards the end, kind of feathering it out, if that makes sense. Going in with the smaller detailed brush, this is my Morphe M514. You absolutely need this brush if you are working with darker colors. So I'm going in with Kooky now, and I'm going to focus that a little bit lower in the crease. I don't want to bring it up too high. Wow, okay, Red, I see you. Barely even touched my skin, girl. Okay, okay. And now I'm going to go in with Oddball. Actually, I'm going to switch to an even smaller brush. Look at this little baby. Okay, this is M507 and going in with Oddball. And I'm really only going to focus that in the outer corner. So like right here. Oh shit, she is pigmented, Laura. Yeah, so I'm just kind of staying in this area right here. I don't want to bring the darkness in too much. So I'm kind of just fluffing her right there. That's real pretty, wow. And then kind of doing the same thing to the other eye, tapping off the excess and just working. And to blend it out even more, you can take a fluffy brush again and kind of just smooth out the edges. Wow. This is a really easy black to work with. Okay, so picking back up that flat brush and going back into Okie Doki, I'm gonna just go over the inside of my eye right here. I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and kind of blending the two together even more. Okay guys, so I'm quickly gonna do my lashes and my liner off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, this look is really coming together. I'm really, really loving the way that this looks. I feel like everything has been phenomenal and I have purposely played with the matte shadows way more than the shimmer. I haven't even put a shimmer shadow on my lid or my face yet because Honestly, matte shades are what impresses me the most. If I can get a matte shade to work and really give me no problems, then right away the palette is worth it because shimmer shades are actually one of the more easier ones to develop as compared to the matte shades. So let's go in and smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the color Cray Cray and again on a Morphe brush that doesn't have a name on it and I'm just going to kind of Push that back and forth like so. So then I'm gonna take the color Kooky and I'm just gonna put it on the tip of the brush and focus that more on the outer side of my eye, I guess the outer corner of my lower lash line. Very oddly specific. And then taking this little, little itty bitty baby brush, this is a Morphe M515. I'm going in with Oddball. And again, just kind of focusing that really, really to the outer part of my eye. I don't want to bring it too close. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Quirky, which is more of a shimmer shade, just so we can play around with some of the shimmers. And this is a Morphe R45, and I'm just going to start to line inside here. Also, I do want to say, like, I barely have any, like, I don't have any fallout on my face. So that's definitely something if you're interested in fallout. I know fallout has been the topic of 2017. So I would say this has very, very little fallout, especially on my face. Like there's nothing I even really need to wipe away. And then taking a Morphe E36, I'm just going to pop Scatterbrain on the inner, inner, inner corners. Wow. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's really, really pretty. And then I'm just going to pop some mascara on the lower lashes. This is Tarte. This is their gifted mascara. I really like this mascara because it's super, super conditioning. And it really lengthens my lower lashes. So, ha. <laughs> and then I'm just popping on some liquid lipstick. This is Heath Heath Heathers? Heathers <laughs> from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. 
So I have to say I 100% recommend the Cat's Pajamas palette from Laura Lee. I think it is so beautiful. These are definitely shades that you can use every day. You can dress it up. You can make it a nighttime look, a daytime look. You really can do anything with this. I am so proud of you, Laura. I think that this is an amazing achievement. I wish you nothing but the best. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. At the end of this video, there is an option to subscribe. You could just click my little facey face and that'll automatically subscribe you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.